Hi, this is Tom Blodgett of Genda Industries, and today we're going to introduce the Tracera stones for the Wicked Edge Sharpener. We're going to start with how to maintain them, how to use them for their maximum potential, and how to adjust for the angle changes due to the different thickness in the stone. So over here, I got my stones set up on the Wicked Edge paddles. This is the 400 Tracera, 600 Tracera. On my paddles, I have the 800 Chosera and the 2K Chosera, 2000 grit. Then I have on the other paddles a 1000, which is green, and a 3000. And then on my final paddles, I have a 5000 and a 10,000 Choseras. And we're going to finish today on this Meister U knife, a pocket knife. I'm going to finish it on 8th Micron CBN of Ken Schwartz with some uh, Wicked Edge leather and plain leather. So let's begin. Okay, so now we're going to start by using the Choceras. Now these stones do need to be soaked. Uh, they absorb water and they hold it. So what I normally do is I get a small pan. As you can see, I don't have a lot of water, just a thin layer, just enough, because you don't want to get water into the holes. If you get water into the holes, it, it, it clogs up and actually inhibits the action when you're using the, the rods later. So just simply put them in. Uh, it takes a couple minutes. I'm going to put the next set that I'm going to use here. I'm going to actually use the, uh, the 1Ks afterwards. So I'm going to just dump them in. So I got my 1Ks, my 400 and 600. Let them get ready. Okay. Next thing I want to talk about is using an angle cube. Uh, that's very important here. As you can see, the difference between the thickness of the Choceras and the Diamond Webs plates. There's quite a bit of difference there, and we need to account for it when we set our angles here on the rods. So you must have an angle rod, uh, sorry, angle gauge, to make that much easier. And we'll get to that in a second. Okay, so my stones have been soaking for a few minutes now. They were wet, wipe them off. Now you notice my stones are dirty. I kept them that way because I wanted to clean them. So to clean these is very simple. Clay did a video about this earlier that you just take the two stones, put them together when they're wet, of course, and just rub them together. Now this serves two purposes. One, it flattens them out, and second, as you can see, it'll start creating a slurry, okay? And that's going to be effective in a little bit. We're going to use that later. Uh, but most importantly, it cleans, and then they're pretty flat now. Uh, if it gets really, really out of whack, then you can use the 100 grit stone, or even the 50 or the 80 Weps diamond plate, and simply rub that in a slight little X pattern here. You can see, a little X here, a little X. There's not a lot of room. Just rub them together, and that will really flatten them out. Don't go too far, because then you run too much. So, And that also creates a slurry as well, a different type of slurry, or coarser. Um, but it, it more importantly, flattens the stones. Okay, so we've got a Meister U knife here. It's, it's already set here. I preset the angles for the diamond webs. It's uh, 20 degrees, 600 grit stones right now. I've already done the profiling and everything. And the first thing we need to do is check the angles. So we're going to use our angle cube. Turn it on. The first thing we have to do is level the cube. So I like to put it here. And right now it's reading at a quarter, 0.25. So we're going to zero it out. It's now at zero. Then I set the arms here. Put them up flat. Make sure there's no wobble. Magnets. Convenience. And I'm at 20.05. Now this thing has a plus or minus of 0.1. I'm just going to mess around with it a hair. Or make it worse. And sometimes it's just very finicky. Uh, 20.5, you know I'm going to stay there. <laughs> it's within the plus or minus. I'm okay with that. I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to set it flat. Press. You don't want to do too much pressure because you can actually bend the blade and then change the angle. So here we're at 20.15, so we need to adjust that. And the slightest bit makes a difference. All right, 20 degrees. Okay, tighten the screws tight. This is good to go. Now, I want to discuss the technique of 
how to maximize using the stones, and all of the stones and the paddles. So there are three different strokes that I like to use. Uh, the first one is for getting a lot of work done that I usually use at the beginning stages of profiling and just getting down and trying to get to the angle. And that's going to be a circular stroke. Uh, when you do the circular stroke, the diamonds cut at all different ways and they create different scratches which actually helps to cut through the top layers. Uh, here's a picture of 100 grit with circles and you can see just how crystalline it is actually. It's very crazy pictures, uh, very crazy scratches. Uh, and that what that does is just it just cuts everywhere, every how. It just it's mean, it's aggressive, but it gets the job done. And that's for the first stroke. So right now let me show you how I do that. It's very simple. It basically just circles. You're gonna put it on. And what you want to do is do this until you get the burr. So I've already preset this at 20 degrees. Most of this has been done, but the circle action is literally up and down with a circular motion. Right, you can put pressure if you want. I don't really need to. This is the 600 grit stone. I've already done most of my profiling. So you can see the slow motion, just how you know, I'm making very big, very, I'm not, I don't care about how beautiful it is right now. I just getting that face down to 20 degrees. And you're going to do this. So you get a burr. Of course, the coarser spirit stone will do this quicker. All right, and I should have a burr here. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do a little more. Now you do this until you get the burr. You know, that's when you know you've got that angle at exactly 20 degrees. Get the whole knife, the whole edge. Okay, feel for a burr. Okay, I've got a nice burr now. So what I'm going to do is switch sides. Same thing, circles. Again, the left hand side, put it on. Again, the circle motion. And that just cuts all over the place. Very, very nasty looking. Not the edge you want at the end. Now, you usually only do this on the coarsest grit, but since this is pretty much done, I just want to show you that. And sometimes it takes a while. I've got a nice burr here. Okay, now the second step that I do, now that I've got the burr, I've got it on both sides. Now I want to kind of clean all that up. As you saw from the picture, it's pretty nasty. Now we're just going to try to line it up. Uh, we're going to now go for scrubbing, which is just straight up and down. And what this will do is even out the whole bevel. Rather than the circular motion, it will create scratches that are consistent. As you see, I'm just scrubbing up and down. This makes things a little bit nicer, more even. And this is good for what you should do on the step first, the most sharpened first step. Again, you do this till you get a burr. Because this is a different motion, it's going to create a, a different type of face on the bevel. So you know, make sure it's nice and even and you get a burr. Okay. Got a burr going here. Be careful when you check. Okay. Switch to the other side. Same thing until you raise a burr. It should be fairly quick because we know we've done it already from the circles. So this is just a, a, a cleaning up a little bit. I'm not pressing too hard. Okay, as you can see. Now this burr came very quickly. Okay, I'm gonna wipe that down a little bit carefully. Get all the cook off. Alright, now we switch to the sweeping steps, and this is what cleans everything up. And because when I did the scrubbing, I may have concentrated in one place more or another, so you get a wavy kind of edge. So what the sweeping does is just one stroke at a time brings everything together, and that's your precision. So the sweeping, this is the regular way to use the weps, sweeping. And you can see the pictures from here. This is what it's going to look like at the end of this brick. 600 sweeping. 
and that just cleans everything up. Now I start with a little bit of pressure just to get everything even, but the trick here is actually to go light. Otherwise the diamonds just cut through the steel. Okay, I'm going to go lighter, you have to actually go slower. Right, make sure it's really nice. Probably do about 50 to 60 of these strokes. I'm really, 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 really just touching the surface. You'd be surprised how fast these cut and how deep. So I'm real pretty here. Make sure you're going off to the edge, off to the tip. Okay. There should be no significant burr from this. Okay, that's the end of the 600. Now what we're going to do is take my trosseras and we're going to reset the angles here and get it ready for the trossera edges.